Welcome back to Wilson awesome Productions and today I bring you a movie review. Sorry for the delay, I have been busy with multiple things, um, but I am here now, that's all that matters. So I have decided to bring you a movie review that I have been dying to just review. So guys, if you don't know, I'm an avid book reader and love to read a lot of books. Particularly my favourite author is Tim Winton and I love a lot of his um, illustrations and, and I just enjoy the stories that he t tells. One of my favourite is none other than Breath. Bam. Check it out. Looks pretty good, eh? I got that book when I was like, I think 14 or 15 years old and I read it for the first time and I loved it but I I still kind of like was just brief, briefly thought oh, I probably missed a few things so I read it again and then I read it again and then I read it again. So as you can see I, I really liked it um, and I learned a little bit more about the book as I read more about it. Now um, the movie is directed by Simon Baker who I guess just read the book as well and he thought you know what this could be great if it was turned into a film and he took this opportunity to to um, do his debut as a director and come out and direct this um, really great movie and I gotta say guys I was not disappointed by this I wasn't even worried that it was uh, his debut as a director I thought he has enough um, experience to direct it and he didn't disappoint the cinematography in this film is basically why you have to go see it the shots they get in this film is incredible the just the ocean shots and the waves they get. Like, you know, the footage they get is just incredible. And, you know, you can just see the western coast of Australia just at its beautiful, um, um, fuck, I can't figure the word. But nonetheless, um, it is a beautiful, um, shot movie. Um, just, like, if you're just going to base it around just the cinematography, it gets a 10 out of 10, but it obviously can't. But for important for a Tim Winton um, book turned into a movie, the Tim Winton does a really excellent job in imagery and like explaining what the image looks like. And just when he writes, it's a lot about imagery and like you know you have to kind of picture it in your head. So Simon Baker turned a lot of these um, places that I've been wanting to see in what he thinks they look like um, it, that that look great. And that, in my opinion, that he was spot on with most of them. There was the odd shot here and there, I thought, oh, maybe that isn't what I thought the place looked like, but you know, it's hard when you're trying to make a film, you're trying to really um, find, like, you know, the perfect location for what you want, so he did the best we, that he could. The characters are excellent as well, um, with Simon Baker um, himself as Sando, the old surfer who um, takes two boys to... Um, kind of coach him and mentor him in surfing and whatnot. Um, the other two guys are Samson Rulta who plays Pikelet and Ben Space is Looney. Um, I won't mention all the other actors and actresses um, just because they will take time up. But they did particularly good in their roles. Um, particularly Looney. Um, that, that guy did a really good job of being Looney. He was exactly who I thought he was in this film and, I've, and in the book. He did a really good job portraying that character. And also, um, Pikelet was exactly who I thought he was in the look. The looks of the, the characters are just perfect and you just get a sense of like he understood the story really well and that he was able to capture that all really well as well. The story itself is really good and very well paced in this movie. So you've got to enjoy that for what you can get um, in this uh, movie because it's just, you get find it hard sometimes. Some films are either too slow in pacing or some films are too hot fast and pacing, but this was like perfect. It was perfect enough to, like, to tell us the, the complex story that it was um, to really just get everything out there. Although I thought the movie could have gone a little bit longer just because in the book it does tell it from the perspective of Pikelet who is an older man and then he's telling the story. Whereas I thought they could have added an extra couple of scenes of maybe an older Pikelet, but you know, they're just small little complaints, but they're not big complaints. and. That doesn't take anything away from the film. That's why I just thought if we were going to tell a bigger story. Maybe it was, maybe it was just cut short. Just because they thought it was better to have a shorter film. But nonetheless though guys, this is a really well done film. If you like books turned into movies, done right. Um, this is probably one for you to go out and see. 
Um, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Sorry this is a late review, but, you know, things happen. But I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a really well done film, and I feel like you have to go out and see it. Well done, Simon Baker. You did an excellent job, mate. Alright, thank you again for tuning in. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great content as I produce videos at times. But um, we'll hopefully get a better schedule going again, guys. Just give me some time. But I do um, upload eventually. Anyway, take care, guys, and see you soon. Bye.